Hey, I've been doing quite a lot of videos on global colors and fonts and typography in Elemental, but I now want to talk about making your fonts be so much more responsive, and you're going to visually see what I'm talking about here. We're going to use the clamp function in CSS to basically add that facility, and I'm going to show you a free website that's going to help you generate some of the code. You can work it out yourself if you want, or you can just have it done for you. Having it done for you is always a little bit easier, right? So we have a heading and a text editor. Both of these have pretty simple font styling applied. If I go to the desktop, both of them have REM5. If we go over to the tablet, we have REM3, and if we go to the mobile, they both have REM1. And you can see the size is changing there as we were going up and down. Now, if I opened it, by the way, look, let me just show you here. Look, the fonts, you know, they're, they're pretty static, and they're not going to change size until you hit a certain break point. When I start to shrink the size, it doesn't change, right, until I hit a break point. Now we hit the tablet. And again, it doesn't change until I hit that one. Now we're in the realms of the mobile. Well, that's all good and well, but but when you look at it, there is there is that jumping effect, right? What if like when you're about here, I want the font size to now be between this size and that size. You know, I want it to be kind of relative to what's going on on the page. I'm gonna go to the text editor and I am now gonna go to my typography and I'm actually gonna clear everything out. This is just for the text editor, by the way. The reason I'm doing that is because I now don't want whatever I'm gonna add in to be superseded or overridden by the values here. So now there are no values in there. And if I now just show you what the text editor looks like, now the size is just kind of like, you know, it's not really doing anything at all. The heading is still jumping from desktop to tablet to mobile, right? But a text editor is cast in stone because we've kind of removed all the sizes. Now let's go over to our text editor. Let's go to the advanced tab. I'm going to scroll down until I get to custom CSS. Now you could do this in other areas of your website. I mean, I would probably recommend that in your site settings, you do it over here in your custom CSS, but I'm only going to apply it to the text editor here just to kind of get across how this works. Let's go back again. Let's go to custom CSS. I'm now going to drop in a little bit of code. So I've got P curly bracket and then font size clamp one REM two VW and five REM. Now the one REM is literally like the smallest it will ever go to. The five REM is the biggest it will ever go to. And the bit in the middle, the two VW, is kind of like the preferred size. Now there is, this is something that takes a bit of thinking to get used to. But don't worry, I'm gonna help you out, like I said, with a free generator that will give you the code you need to add here. There are other bits you can add, and this is where it gets very mathematical. But again, we are gonna help you out. All I've done is drop this in, and I've got a P applied here because I'm applying it to a text. If I had put this code into the header CSS, because that header is a H1 header, I would have changed this to say H1 or H2 or H3. Um, this is where it can make sense sometimes to stick this in your custom CSS or somewhere else. So all I've done is apply that to the text editor. And I now shrink the page down now. Can you see that text editor? The heading does not change until we get to there, but look at the text editor. Can you see it growing and shrinking? You know, the header, the header jumps as it moves, so, but the text editor is not jumping. Look, this is gradual, and then it stops at one REM because that's the lowest it can be, and over here. Now, I will say, though, that we do have this little thing going on here where that text editor is not hitting the 5 REM, and that is down to how I've entered in the code, so let's refine that. But first things first, can you see you are now getting gradual shrinking and enlarging, growing, whatever you want to call it. And here's the website I'm referring to, clampfontsize.app. I'll put a link in the description. It's a font size clamp generator, okay? I'm going to say my minimum viewpoint width is, viewport width is 400. You could change this to 500, 380, whatever you want to go for. And my maximum, I'm going to go, in fact, we won't go with that. We'll go with uh, 1000, something like that. And my minimum font size is one and my maximum is five. And can you see here, it's giving me a bit more of a code now than what I was giving you. And this is where I feel like the font size clamp generator really does help you out unless you wanna sit there working things out, which I still struggle to get my head fully around. Anyway, I'm gonna copy that code. I'm gonna go back over here. 
And where I now have my font size up until the semicolon, I'm going to now drop that in. Make sure everything is inside your curly bracket and watch the text editor now. Look, it starts to shrink. I mean, look, by the way, I had set the maximum to be 1000. So when I hit the 1000 point, now you move within the preferred range. Look, it starts to shrink. If I had set my maximum to be 1,000, it would start shrinking when we hit the one, sorry, not 1,000, 1,200. It would start to shrink at that point. You can see there, look, we're not jumping straight away to that small heading. It gradually gets there. So this is how you can make your text be so much more responsive. And by the way, don't forget, if you're still not comfortable with one REM and two REM, remembering that it is driven by your browser, which is traditionally 16 pixels, you can control that as well. I know a lot of people don't like doing this, but if you were to go and say, right, my font size is 10, that's the root HTML that you're going to be applying. One REM is now 10 pixel, two REM, well, five REM is now 50 pixel. So if I was to now, I mean, this is going to look ridiculously small, by the way. I'm just going to change this to be, um, let's go with 10. In fact, now let's go back to the clamp generator, okay? Let's just change that to be 10, which is going to look ridiculously big, by the way. And I'm going to change this to be, uh, let's go with 1,200, okay? Let's just get hold of that code now. Let's pop that in over here. And that's what I mean. It really does help when sometimes things are just written out for you like that. We've got our desktop, our tablet, our mobile. And if I start messing around with that width there, can you see how it just starts to increase and decrease? Ignore the fact that the heading has completely shrunk down. That is obviously because I've gone and stuck in this HTML. If I had taken this out, uh, let's just update that again. When you go to uh, the different uh, responsive modes, the heading size changes. But if we just now start playing around with the mobile, look, I don't know how I can explain it anymore, really, other than the clamp functionality really does make your text be so much more responsive. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.